Hey everyone, it's the Vigilant Christian Mario here for another edition of Illuminati Media Expose. Normally I don't make videos this short, but the subject matter in today's video is absolutely so shocking um, and so outrageous um, that I absolutely need, need, needed to make a video uh, so that I could put it out there online and have everyone help me get this information out to people so that we can raise awareness um, so that we do not become uh, victims of this satanic negative influence in our lives. Um, so what I'm going to be exposing today is a photo shoot done uh, by Vogue magazine in which they're promoting um, very young children in a sexual way. Okay, and uh, if you're familiar with my series, you do recognize that I've talked about this before. The illuminated ones, the elite, the ones in power, um, they always seek to influence society in, in immoral, uh, godless ways. That's essentially what they're always trying to do. And uh, this is no different, okay? This is just them pushing the envelope. That's what the Illuminati does, okay? They work uh, with the process of desensitization. So generation after generation, they're going to push the envelope. That's how we got from Elvis uh, shaking his hips on television 50 years ago and that was an outrage to the public to now Lady Gaga on television um, like I said barely dressed up only wearing police tape and now that's acceptable and there's no there's no one uh, outrage in society except me and maybe a few other people um, you know so how is that possible how it's through a process of desensitization so um, to your grandparents 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 it may have been shocking but they kept on pushing it and pushing it that eventually it became acceptable you know um, and uh, it's just become part of our existence so we don't realize um, just how much we've fallen um, from from what is good and what, what is godly um, so this again is them utilizing that same technique of desensitization. This is absolutely shocking. Okay, so I'm sitting here today in 2012 and I'm looking at the way that they've portrayed these children in an obvious sexual fashion and I'm disgusted. But because they're going to push the envelope and they're going to do this for the next decade, you're going to see more uh, pieces of propaganda like this pushing the envelope. You're going to start seeing music artists, um, you know, having desires for children. You're going to see pedophilia starting to be acceptable. And you might think right now, oh no, that's impossible. That'll never happen. But my friend, guess what? It will happen. And mark my words, it's going to happen. Okay. They have done this successfully for decades. What makes you think it's going to stop today? Okay, 30 years ago, it was absolutely um, not acceptable to be a homosexual. Through the process of desensitization, they've now made it acceptable. So that even me saying this right now, some people have reacted, oh, oh, he's a hater, he's ignorant, he's this, he's that. Because of the propaganda you've been fed about, oh, they're born this way, this is that, because they've wanted to shape your opinions about these things, okay? In the very same way, they're doing this now um, about pedophilia okay so in the next 20 years it's going to be acceptable because they're going to say hey they were born that way you know let's not judge them they're born with the sexual desire to have intercourse with a child just like a homosexual is born with that it's not their fault yada 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 okay so this is the satanic influence and this is how they get us further and further away from god OK, um, so to talk about this specific photo shoot here, um, this is obviously from the illuminated ones. I'll just mention the subliminals here. Uh, you see the little girl uh, resembling a black crow. Uh, the black crow is often symbolized in the occult in, in Satanism. You've seen it um, in Jay-Z's video. He's uh, showing you symbols regarding the black crow. Um, you know, Beyonce has also been referred to as the black crow, Sasha Fierce, I should say. Uh, so it's a satanic um, symbol. Okay? Okay, so that's why this child is dressed like that. And then the leopard print is uh, to associate the sex kitten association because in the Illuminati, how they portray uh, their sex slaves is in this fashion, okay, is with the leopard print. So that's why you see Lady Gaga and you see uh, Beyonce and all of them wearing this le leopard print. Okay, and that's why you see this child because she too is a sex slave. Okay, and this is sick and twisted. Um, and then they go and they they have this one where she's under the tree. Well, what they're telling you is that this, this child is a gift. So what, there's, this is so evil. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that we need to start waking up to these things um, so that we do not become victim of these satanic influences. They're trying to get us corrupted as corrupted as they possibly, possibly can. OK, um, to the point where everything is is not as God has said it was uh, supposed to be so that our society is eventually just resembles a completely satanic society like it basically does today. 
Um, so just recapping, you know, the illuminated ones are utilizing the media, uh, their magazines and their, their uh, news stations and their music videos and their Hollywood movies um, to desensitize us, to take us away. Watch my movie on Pleasantville. They want to lead us into sinful uh, behavior as much as possible. Don't don't fall for it. They're illuminated satanic men uh, who are bringing about the Antichrist kingdom. Turn to Jesus Christ, repent of your sins, and accept the kingdom of God. Uh, so this is the Vigilant Christian saying, stay vigilant and God bless.